In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to create four circular options infographic slide in PowerPoint. And this is how the slide works. When I click, you can see here, uh, it will show four semicircles with the text. And then for each semicircle, the options are provided in the form of cylindrical shapes. You can see here, I've just put some icons here. Then I put uh, the option number one, you can add some detailed text. With the same color combination what i have used for the semicircle i have used for the cylinder shapes also so i have created two slides one with animation another without animation so depending on your requirement you can choose the slide from and if you have not subscribed to my channel powerpoint university please subscribe it now and make sure to enable the bell notification icon you can join my telegram group with the help of this link and if you like to contribute to my channel you can do it through paypal or patreon the link is provided in the video description section so let's start the tutorial add a new slide and i'm going to add four oval shapes for that go to insert shapes and from the basic shapes i'm going to select the oval shape draw the oval shape by holding the shift key so depending on your requirement you can increase or decrease the size and then uh, go to format shape outline make it no outline and i'm going to duplicate this by pressing ctrl shift together and then just drag it so this is second again control shift together third and one more fourth you can see here now i'm going to give some 3d look for this so i'm going to select all of these right mouse click go to format objects and go to the effects 3d rotation from the presets i'm going to select this one under perspective this one you can see here which is perspective below uh, you don't find much difference here when you do that one so what you need to do is you need to go to 3d format and the depth you need to give maybe 200 points or you can guess give 300 points you can see here the size this much now what happens here is now for each one you can give some different color combination for example i'm going to give some kind of orange and then i'm going to give a teal color then I can just uh, select somewhat a uh, blue and here I can just choose any different color here. So I've got a different color combination and then I'm going to choose this one, select all and then bring it somewhat down. Uh, now I'm going to change the perspective of this one. So first of all, I'm going to choose this only one. Then you can just go to the effects, scroll it down. You can see here the X rotation. What happens when I click this one, it is moving here. If I just move this one, it will move this one. So I want it should come this one and this one also a little bit here. This one a little bit this side. You can see here like this. I can just play with this. All right. You can see here something like this. So now I need to just give some gap here. Just give some gap. All right, and to give the equal gap, what you need to do is you need to select all these uh, four rectangles, go to align. First of all, make sure it is top and then go to align, distribute. You can just say horizontally. So equal spacing has been given. So let me just select this one again. If you want to bring it more down, you can bring it down. And if you want to see whether it is center or not, you can just go to view, enable the guides. All right. Then what happened, I'm going to add four rectangles to it. So go to insert shapes, select the rectangle, draw the rectangle. You can see here, maybe this much size, shape outline, make it no outline, shape fill. I'm going to choose the same color which I've used for this. And then I'm just going to send this to back. So you can see here, let me just zoom in. You have to just make sure that it is properly align all right so let me just align it properly you can see something like this so now i'm just going to duplicate this press ctrl d to duplicate add it for the remaining oval shape one by one you can see here let me just do that one and then select all these three go to format and send this to back and then again make sure that it is properly aligned okay and then i'm going to give the same color which I've used. This is teal color. This is blue color. So this one actually I have to give this as a teal color and this has to be blue color. And this should be kind of a red color. All right. 
now we have done this part now the next part what we need to do is we need to add the semicircles here now how to draw a semicircle and then just remove this uh, placeholder columns go to insert shapes i'm going to select the oval shape draw the oval shape by holding the shift key all right so depending on your requirement you can increase or decrease the size again make sure that it is align center align middle shape outline make it no outline and go to insert shapes select the rectangle draw the rectangle covering the top portion only so i'm going to select the bottom one hold the shift key select this rectangle merge shape i'm going to make it subtract all right now copy this Control c bring it here Control v and i'm going to place it exactly in the center make sure it is in the center you can see here for the time being i'm just going to give some different color combination press Control d to duplicate and then i'm going to make on bigger one which should cover all you can see here and make sure that it is properly aligned in the center and now for this i'm going to give this orange color and send this two back all right now i'm going to select the other one the same thing press ctrl d to duplicate i'm going to give the teal color now hold the shift key reduce the size put it in the center you can see here maybe i can increase the size a little bit and depending on your requirement you can increase or decrease the size you can see here one by one all right press ctrl d then i'm going to choose the blue one again hold the shift key reduce the size put it in the center something like this make sure that it is properly aligned and it is center also and then i'm going to add one more which is the red color now or if you want you can just change the color also not a problem so you can see here here also i can just adjust it so that i can get the equal all right you can see here just you have to make sure that it is all aligned center okay so now i'm going to select all these four by holding the shift key and then send this to back all right so i've got this one now i'm going to select these four rectangles and send this to back all right so you can see here the design is done now if you want to change the color if you want to add text anything you can do it so now what i'm going to do the next thing is i'm going to add some shadow effect here all right so let me just increase the size here it looks very small i think this is okay now to add the shadow effect i'm going to select this one duplicate this shape fill i'm going to make it black increase the transparency level here go to the effects soft adjust increase the size you can see here and then i'm going to place it here i can increase the size you can see here something like this and this should be sent to back something like this you can see here i can just reduce it from the corners also okay so one press ctrl d to duplicate now this shadow for the red all right again reduce it from the corners from the left and the right and send this to back you have to do it yeah something like this can you see here so likewise you can again duplicate this one this is for the blue now again i'm going to reduce from the corners again send to back one by one and then this is for the teal color increase the height you can see here and again send this to back all right and if you want to add some shadow effect for this also you can add the shadow effect so let me just go to view remove the guides all right so this is my design now it's time to add some icons some text some uh, detailed text so many things you can do with this particular design now if you want you can just reduce this one also i'm just going to select this and even this uh, rectangles i'm going to select by holding the shift key and i'm just bringing it down all right so i've got some a uh, gap here now let's add some text some icons here first of all go to insert text box i'm going to just say one 
or a b c d whatever you feel better you can just do it and i'm going to use the arial black font all right and then i'm just going to put it here all right and if you want to change the font color you can make it white if you want or you can keep it black also depending on your requirement and here you can see here pressing ctrl d so this is four this is three this is two and that is one and then if you're using the latest version of powerpoint you can just go and insert some icons here you can see here you've got a variety of icons it's taking some time depending on the internet speed okay so i'm just uh, randomly i'm just selecting uh, four icons click insert and these icons i'm just moving aside and height and width maybe i'm going to make it 0.4 only and then for each one i'm just going to place it here you can see here or if you want to place in a different place also not a problem all right so now the next thing is to add some detailed text you go to insert text box add detail text here reduce the size and then i'm just going to place it here press ctrl d to duplicate here one more press ctrl d so and you have to just make sure that it is properly aligned go to align and just see it's properly aligned and if you want to add some detailed text also you can add it you can just go to insert text box for example i can just say your title here for example and then i can just go to the format text effects transformation i'm going to choose this one you can see here arc down so i you can see the small orange point i can just play with this and here all right and then i'm just going to place it here so i can just increase the size increase the width change the font size make it white so many things you can do with this one all right if you want to make it more like this all right so you can just duplicate and then you can just add it and once you have done this one you can just add some basic animation effect to it 